When Bill Price was a boy, he knew he wanted to do one thing. Working in these fields here in Union County, I remember telling my mother, well, when I get old enough to leave home, I'm going to never work on no farm, and I'm going to leave this, and I'm going to the Grand Ole Opry. It didn't take long. Bill was 19 years old when he made the first of what would be numerous appearances on the Opry, and over the years, he would rub shoulders with the giants of the industry. Now Bill wants to see that North Carolina gets the recognition it deserves for its contribution to country music. He wants to build a Bluegrass Hall of Fame. After all, he says, this is where Bluegrass was born. What do you mean by Charlotte, that? Charlotte, Mecklenburg County, Charlotte, North Carolina is where uh, Bluegrass Country got its start in 1936. The father of Bluegrass music, which the world knows is Bill Monroe, made his first recording right in Charlotte, there on Tryon Street, in an old warehouse in 1936, along with his brother Charlie. Bluegrass legends such as the Briar Hoppers and the Carter family all got their start here, and Cleveland County's Earl Scruggs, along with Lester Flatt, helped make bluegrass music what it is today. They took bluegrass music from the country to all Carnegie Hall, to television, everywhere, internationally. Bill's already started putting together pieces for the Hall of Fame that he hopes to build in Union County. This chair from the Opry stage, an original letter from Hank Williams, handprints and cement from today's stars, even a check stub from Bill's days at the Opry, all to go into what Bill believes will one day be the biggest musical attraction in North Carolina. And as long as I'm living, I will be promoting bluegrass. And I certainly hope I'll live long enough to say I'm too old to die young. So uh, uh, I'm in bluegrass to stay. Here with the shadows surround me, I can't forget loving you. I'm John Carter with the Carolina Camera.